In simple terms, we want to understand what classical unemployment is, or sometimes it's known as real wage unemployment. This is a very interesting type of unemployment in the workplace, very unique, and we want to see how unique it is and how it impacts the workplace. Classical or real unemployment occurs, right? So this happens uh, when the actual wage is paid for a job, right, are well above the market clearing level, right? Market clearing level, that's the normal rate, or the free market equilibrium wage rate, right? So again, the normal wage is the same thing, just different rates. Uh, so the, when the wages paid are well above the normal rate that is usually paid for, for these jobs, right? So for example, let's say the um, actual wage is $100, right? Um, and, and the market claim rate is $50, right? $50. So here then is a difference of plus 50, right, plus $50. Now that's a lot of money, that's 100% essentially. And because of this increase, the demand is high. The demand for these jobs are high, but the supply is still the same. The supply is constant, remains the same. The demand is high, but supply remains the same, right? So if the demand is high, that means there will be people that will not be employed. There were people seeking these positions because of the uh, the, the uh, increase of fifty dollars. Uh, we will not be getting the job, and those people will be considered classically unemployed. That's what classical unemployment is all about, right? This causes the number of job seekers to exceed the number of vacancies in the system. Again, because so many people are angling for those positions, right? For those positions. But those positions are only uh, maybe say two, and we have four people going for those positions, right? So two will be employed, and two will not be employed. Those two not employed are classically unemployed. See you, classically unemployed, right? And that's what classical unemployment is all about. This type of unemployment depends upon the elasticity of demand, right? for labor and on the elasticity of supply of labor. And that's what it is. So the change in demand then is significant and impacts the, um, you know, the, the number of people, right, uh, seeking for those positions. And that leads to unemployment because again, not all of those seeking for those positions will get the positions because there are too, just too many people seeking those positions right so demand is high but supply remains constant and that's classical unemployment right there sometimes also known as real wage unemployment